yo, 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 what's going on everyone? It's TK and on today's episode, we're going to dive into the last guide on the Sui Lalo with the diamond style of bases. So I'm going to showcase how you can take these bases out and without any further ado, let's go. Now we're here on the first base and it's EG Anthony. Now guys, this actually recording is before the update just because I've done all those like guide videos and I had it like kind of recorded for you so I can upload, but then the update came out very early. So, you know, the schedule was a bit messy. Now, with this kind of triple single inferno, one thing is good is that you can actually tank them with the skeleton spell that you have two of this in this army. Now, what I really wanted to do was to kind of make sure king or queen walk into the town hall. That's why I'm going to drop them both together at the same kind of area. Now, look at this little funnel I'm going to do with the super barbarians and the wizards and few archers and barbarians. This funnel will give the king such a nice access to the town hall compartment on this video i believe we're gonna sue the town hall every single attack just because a lot of people find it hard and then they find it even harder to lolo the town hall just because of tornado traps because of the way the air defense placements are but that's why i'm here to showcase why lolloing the town hall when you can sue the town hall now once you can see the expo is also going to go down, you can choose to go with a flame flinger or a battle drill on the backside defenses of the town hall. Going to take out this wizard tower real quick so the flame flinger kind of moves towards the backside of the town hall. The queen did kind of amazing, I'm not going to lie, but then we're going to start with the lolo into the enemy queen it doesn't matter if it's a royal champion or queen i really wanted to just start from this side one more hound and a headhunter we're going with the rc behind the lolo double haste into that area so we can haste the hound and haste the top group and then look at this lower side we're gonna go ahead with a small little lolo give access to our core raged and the heal um group of loons to demolish that area faster and generate hp faster now i'm adding two loons on the archer tower for the back end so it's a point damage defense which could cause troubles for our royal champion that's important and like i would say in the middle of the attack what you need to start thinking is how to save my royal champion ability for the back end or how to save her in general for the back end defenses to take them out or even sometimes the clan castle troops could be annoying for you and i believe in three or four of these attacks the cc doesn't even get pulled from our sui something that a lot of people ask me questions in comments and also my pro sessions is that is it important to pull the cc with the sui well i'm here to say really no i'm, I'm being honest because right now the cc combination that is a lot like meta in all uh, throughout the legends is ice golems so only thing they can hurt it's basically keeping your champion from the group of loons but you can always come back and the champion will always be full hp we are here on another diamond base we got double poison and this time the town hall is actually a bit more to the like corner now i'm here to say a lot of people want to drop the queen for it because it's easier right but no I'm like kind of going to tell you that there is a way that your queen can get a lot more value than the king in a certain aspect of the entrance in the game. Now, I'm going to really flame flinger this side, but because I wanted to really just get a nice funnel. The base is huge. The like the lolo pathing will be tough. Tanking that archer tower for a few more shots. Then we're going to go ahead with the Sui. Now I'm going to send the king to go to the town hall. Because of the way the scatter and the multi-archer towers are, it's going to be a nice queen value. You can't double wall break your king and then waste his giant gauntlet ability. He can get a lot more than that little pathway which is close to the scatter and the multi-archer tower which I'm going to wall break right now. You can see the queen can go inside there, give me the expo, multi-archer tower and that uh, scatter shot. Looking at the flame flinger, going to tank it a bit, but unfortunately, I ran up barbarians, you know, it was just, it is what it is, man. Sometimes you run out, you know, you can pick one more barbarian if you want in case of, instead of one archer, 
King's Gauntlet go off. I'm going to Baby Jack for the King. Invisibility for the Queen. She's coming back to that alleyway I wanted her to go. Ice Golem was a bit early, unfortunately, and the Tesla really annoyed us. But we got four enemy heroes and the double scatter shot with maybe double multi archer tower. Now, the eagle placement in here is a bit weird, as you can see. So, what do you do about that? Well, that poison tower getting dropped was a nice thing. Then I'm gonna go ahead and lolo into this area with that warden also. But there's a key thing. There's always red air bombs here, so watch out for your heal spell. Do not pop the warden yet. You want to go with that second hound, and if there is heroes, with the headhunters. But now we're gonna go ahead with the double haste to kind of haste both groups. Now a lava hound on the back end, which I can place a lot of loons and get this monolith area down, and then you can see going to have that race flow moving towards the single inferno because there is actually not much left from this space because of the way we got the queen value the king's gauntlet value and also the flame flinger was just beautifully so that's how we crushed this space with another sui on town hall but a bit separation of the heroes this is what i wanted to come up with now if you have that haste vial for the world champion go for it and run it this is again before the update so i didn't have the haste vial but right now i'm using it it's absolutely crazy how it works but let's move on to the next base now we're on this base that a lot of you might know but there's also a hole by the way in front of the town hall but i'm not really going to use it that crazy but there's three multi infernos that means guys lolloing that base like in front of the town hall is tough but what do you do well look at the way the flame flinger can get a nice value it's basically really obvious at this point that's why i drop a barbarian first to test for the tesla and the tank for the mortal one more barbarian to tank and then this uh, flame finger can get a lot more good values in kind of behind the mortal then i'm going to go ahead with some few archers i didn't see that mortal unfortunately is what it is but we're going to go ahead and open this whole compartment up we have two war bricks in this army it's always going to be enough with two so don't worry about it now the way you have to drop the kind of skelly spells is a bit weirder but it's basically just in front of the multi infernos so they're not going to give you the best value but look at that my wall breaker didn't actually open that wall crazy but a king went through and one shot it so nice one skelly on the monolith even though there is a multi inferno it still can tank quite decently now this is where with the double invis keep your queen's ability for a nice area of the base but here i didn't see the value with the invis because queen would have walked right into that town of poison so no point of invisibility on her you can keep it for the royal champion now the base is left kind of weird i know how do you lolo this where do you choose to start your lolo well there's a multi inferno on the lower side which could cause troubles in the back end but what i would recommend is to keep it cool and let the flame flinger get a bit more value as you can see on the air defense then you can go ahead with the lolo directly on the multi inferno but i'm already doing a small lolo to the left of that air defense which is the archer tower to keep my loons going to that scatter shot look at the main group they're going into the core which you can rage heal or even ward an ability inside there one more hound on the top side going for another group of loons that's where the top side could go get them um, down really easily and this is where just use your spells wisely because it's important to haste the main group of loons or even a small group of loons to get the funnel for your main group of loons now with those invisibilities as you can see we can use it for our champion even though there is nothing left from the base you can still use those invisibilities keep the king invisible maybe something like that or keep headhunters invisible in this case because we are low on time and always before you drop all your loons watch out the sides of the base there might be a tesla in a corner but let's move on to the last attack now we are here on triple multi inferno but they're not accessible with the sui only maybe one of them is but what do you do how do you lolo them and it's double rage this time okay it's a different style of base but with the double rage 
yeah it's gonna be tough man it's gonna be tough now watch out for that flame flinger value i always like to go with a side on um you know diamond base you saw the last two attacks too like i like to just go with a side flame flinger it always worked out very nice on the scatter shot but king and queen going in i'm gonna wall break to open that compartment more now for those who don't know if there is no wall for the wall breaker to target and or there are kind of far if you drop a wall break in front of the wall it's just going to open the wall a bit more so your heroes can walk into that area a lot easier that's why we drop that you know maybe you've seen it, some of the pro players do it but you never knew the reasoning behind it but now the king ability will have to go off we are getting a multi inferno and double ricochet cannon with the town hall on this side Inviz for the queen, keeping that cannon also invisible, so her ability can go later on for something else. Unfortunately, though, the king didn't really path exactly where I wanted him to go. I wanted him to go into the monolith and pull me the CC. But you're always not going to get the perfect value, okay? One wall breaker and a headhunter, I really wanted to damage the RC, but the thing is... That mortar is going to target our flame flinger, but we got troops to come out of it, so we are doing decent on the top side. Don't worry about it. Start from the lower side where you have the enemy queen. Warden and the RC. I dropped the RC, notice this, a little bit to the left, not directly where I dropped the Warden, because I want the RC to go to the monolith and the core area. Now, with the Hound that is tanking the Archer Tower, I'm going to go ahead with a small Lolo on the top side, healing that group of loons that are going into the multi inferno poison for the enemy cc one more hound on the top side more loons there and you can see already this is why i love the sui lolo because of the spells i'm playing around freezing the infernos freezing the sweepers hasting this healing that raging this it's so fun when you do these sui lolo attacks because i know the base is a lot larger than a zap lolo when you are finished with your sui but that's how easily you can get it. We still have the Warden, still got the Royal Champion, a full Lava Hound, and a lot of loons. And of course, I always drop the cleanup right behind where I drop my loons. So keep that in mind in case you are going to be low on time or time failing a lot. But hopefully, this guide was helpful for you to get those diamond bases down. I have a you know whole playlist of Lolo guys. Check it out. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next one. Take care and peace.